So what's the difference between FUT, FUE, and MFUE? The procedures themselves are all hair transplant procedures. What we're doing is moving hair from the back, where it's permanent, to areas in the front where you've lost it. The difference between these three techniques comes in the way that we move the hair. In the FUT, or the strip technique, which is the industry gold standard, we take a small strip of hair from the back, close up the area where we take it from, put that strip under high-powered microscopes, and expertly cut that strip into the follicles. Once we have the follicles, they're then placed into the balding regions, um, like all the transplant techniques. The FUT procedure has the highest growth yield, you're able to safely move the most grafts in one sitting, and it leaves the donor region in the best shape for future surgeries. So in the FUE technique, we take the grafts from the back individually, one by one. This requires no sutures or no staples in the back, but it leaves thousands of little dot scars where we extract the grafts from. Of the three techniques, FUE not only has the lowest yield, the lowest percentage of grafts that grow, but it also leaves the donor in the worst shape. And what this means for you is that for future surgeries, you may not be able to extract as many grafts as you want. It also means the donor can have a thinner appearance in general. In the modified or the MFUE technique, what we do is take out small little pieces, almost like a broken up strip or mini strips. We take out a small piece and close it just like we do in the FUT technique. These small pieces are then placed under microscopes and cut up into the individual grafts or follicles just like in a gold standard FUT. This leaves you with small little dash scars from where we took the MFUE pieces, the excisions in the back. When comparing it to the other techniques, MFUE has a growth yield like strip, so it gives you excellent, excellent gold standard growth. MFUE like strip leaves the donor in excellent condition for future surgeries.